Hi, this is Peace Perfect Food, back again with a cracking little video for you, and today is my very, very favourite jam of all time. I, as far as I'm concerned, it's a Rolls Royce of jams. It is my strawberry and vanilla jam. It is perfect, it's beautiful, and I've not known anyone not love this one. So let's hop into it. So here are the ingredients. Two, two kilos of end of season strawberries from my garden and so I thought there was a way to use them up. Some vanilla bean paste, two kilos of sugar, some red currants, 250 grams. Now, if you can't get hold of red currants, I'm gonna show you how to make your own pectin stock, which is really easy. And we use the red currants to set the strawberry jam because strawberries are notoriously bad to set for a jam. Right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is literally put everything into a, my jam pan. Now my jam pan has been with me seven or eight years and I do all my preserves in it. So therefore, if it looks a bit old and a bit battered, it's because it's been well, well loved. And I'm not gonna change it while it's still in a good condition to still use. So literally, first the red currants, straight in. No nonsense. Followed by the sugar, again, straight in there. This is not complicated cooking at all, which is what I love about it. And then all I'm gonna do is quarter up all the strawberries and then put about two teaspoons of vanilla bean paste in it. And then what we're gonna do is let it cook down and I'm gonna show you how to do a rolling boil and how to uh, jar up the strawberry jam as well. Right, so for quartering up the strawberries, all I'll do is cut the end off. Now I should be doing it with two hands. Down one way, in half, and in half. Now, normally I would use two hands, but I'm just trying to quickly demonstrate. This is so easy that a five-year-old could do this, so I'm just saying, don't make any excuses that you can't cut up strawberries. Right, so as you can see, the two kilos are in the pan. It's quite full now, but it will go down a little bit, so you've just got to be careful with this one. Keep it on a nice, gentle, rolling boil. So all I want to do now is add in two teaspoons of vanilla bean paste. Now, I tend to do, that's one, Two. Now I tried to do a kilo of fruit to like a teaspoon of the vanilla bean paste. If that's too much for some people, reduce it, that's up to you. I just think it looks, tastes better with it. So I've whacked on the heat, full plout, to get it started, then I'll drop it down to a medium heat. So this is just to get it started. And then what I'm gonna do is show you how to sterilize the jar ready for potting. Right, so this is the jar I'm gonna sterilize. Um, it's a massive liter jar so obviously I'll take quite a lot of jam in there and uh, yes um, this will probably last me most of the winter because let's face facts who doesn't want a nice bit of sunshine in the middle of a gloomy day and this jam certainly fits the bill. Right so what I can do now is I can hear the bottom of the pan starting to go and um, that's the red current starting to do its magic and um, what I'm going to do now is put the oven on at 140 for 15 minutes to sterilise the jar and then it's perfectly done. Now if you don't have that and you want, you've got a dishwasher instead, put it on for a high heat wash for about 15 minutes, again it will sterilise the jar and you can use it straight away from that. Whichever you've got is up to you. Right, so as you can see everything's starting to uh, melt down now, so the sugar and the strawberries and the red currants and the vanilla are all going to mix together really nicely and so like I say it's starting to get really gloopy which is beautiful. And like I say, what you want to do is just keep moving it around a little bit, especially because you don't want to burn the sugar, because you've got all this juice in there, then hopefully it'll be fine. Right, so another reason why I love making preserves is, at the, mo we, at the moment we're in a bit of a pandemic, which is a complete nightmare for everyone, but it also means that you don't waste your food, and at the moment, saving money on food is a massively important thing. So this is why I'm trying to teach you how to preserve food, make it last longer for you, Rather than throwing a bin and wasting your money, which is a complete waste of time, rather than doing that, make it into something amazing. Have it in your store cupboard ready, and when you need it, it's gonna be there and it's gonna work for you. Right, so this is the rolling boil, had about two and a half, three minutes. It's starting to get there, but what I'll also do is clean all this scum up. So all you gotta do is literally get a ladle afterwards, just let it settle, and then it'll just come off really, really easy, and you don't want that on top of your jam, it's just not very nice. So that's another quick tip you need to know. Right, so all I've done quickly is just taking off some of the scum, and this is what it looks like. All you need to do is literally go around with a ladle, just on the edge, and it'll just skim off, and that's what you don't want on your jam, because otherwise, 
it makes it really really horrible at the top. I don't know why it produces scum. I'll have to find that out for you. But that's definitely not what you want. So now we've got about four more minutes and now it's on a nice rolling ball. Just gotta wait till it starts into a lava stage and then a happy days it should be able to pot up. Right, so as you can see now, the bubbles are starting to get bigger now and they're starting to get to that point where it looks like lava. Hopefully you can see this pretty well. So really and truly, the next 30 seconds to a minute, I reckon this is gonna be ready for a set, trying for a set. Um, might not be right, but then all you gotta do is put it back onto boil for another few more minutes and then we try again. Right, so all I'm gonna do now is just test it for a set. All you gotta do is get a little bit of the juice, pour it in the middle of the plate and all I'm going to do that is leave it in the fridge for about 2-3 minutes and then check for the set. It still moves, so as I can say, that needs to be re boiled for another few more minutes and then it'll be tried for another set. Right, so as you can see, it's now on a really nice boil. This is almost like lava now, which is exactly what you want. So I'm going to really test it for a quick set now and hopefully it's all done. Right, so as you can see, the jam's not moving, so that's now set. So that's perfect. So all I'll do now is pot it up and we're gonna finish this video off. Right, one quick note to make sure that no kids are near this bit. This is where the jam's super hot. You do not want them to touch, otherwise they'll have really burnt skin and you'll be taking them to any. So please, no kids at this point, adults only. I also removed all the scum from around the edge, so that's as much as it came off. So again, you don't want them that in your jam. Right, so there you have it. That's my perfect vanilla jam, and that's ready for now. Just to leave it to cool down. Should be overnight, and then tomorrow you can have it on your breakfast with your toast. Absolutely delicious.